is the land of the horse, known throughout the world as a center of excellence for breeding, training and racing thoroughbred horses. At the center of Ireland's racing tradition lies Kildare, the thoroughbred county, and the heart of that living tradition is here, the Curra. This 5,000 acre plain, one of Europe's oldest natural grasslands, is perfectly designed by time and the hand of man for one of nature's most beautiful sights, the running horse. Tales of horses running on the Curra plains take us beyond recorded history to the myths and legends of old Ireland, which tell of Finn McCool and his warriors, the Fianna, emerging from the fortress on the hill of Allen to race their horses across these plains. The tradition of horses preparing for war on these plains continued up to modern times, with horses and men departing the Curra for the Crimean, Boer and First World Wars. By the 17th century, Dublin came to the Curra, not for war but for sport, as the gentry gathered on the plains for hunting with hounds and falcons, and above all, challenging each other to match races. The lodges they established on the Curra form the basis of the great training centres we have today. By the late 18th century, the Turf Club was established in Kildare to formalise the rules of racing and to publish a calendar with details of the races run in Ireland and every sporting intelligence. Thomas Connolly, the father of the Turf Club, and Dennis Bowes Daly together vied for dominance of Irish racing for over 50 years. Daly's bloodstock breeding activities led to Birdcatcher, a handsome colt who was one of the most brilliant on the Curra and whose descendants have made him one of the greatest sires in racing history. Thus the foundations were laid for the success story that is today Irish racing. From the 18th century we can fast forward to the 21st and find another Irish based sire, Sadler's Wells, dominating the international thoroughbred breeding world. Declared champion sire a record 14 times. The native Irish breeding market is one of the most successful in the world and Ireland is increasingly the destination of choice for some of the leading international breeders. Modern Irish racing took shape with the establishment of the Irish Derby in 1866, the first and greatest of the Curra Classic races. The Irish Oaks, the Irish St. Ledger and the Irish 2000 and 1000 Guineas followed after. Commercial sponsorship of the Derby, firstly by the Irish Sweeps and then by Budweiser, put the race firmly in the international limelight and the world's best horses have ever since contested this jewel in the crown of Irish racing. Likewise on the jumping scene, Irish distillers' generous endowment of the Irish Grand National showcased Irish steeplechasing. Tom Draper, the outstanding national hunt trainer of his era, achieved an extraordinary monopoly of the Irish Grand National winning it a remarkable seven years in succession. Arkel, winner of three successive Gold Cups, was clearly his greatest performer. Indeed, such was the wealth of talent at Tom's disposal that Flying Bolt, Arkel's brilliant understudy and near equal, is almost forgotten today. One name bestrides the history of both racing codes like a colossus. Vincent O'Brien, winner of the Triple Crown with Nijinsky, a feat not matched since. In an exceptional career, O'Brien would claim six Epsom derbies, three arcs, three successive Aintree Grand Nationals, three champion hurdles and four Cheltenham Gold Cups. And Ireland's remarkable record in the Gold Cup continues to the present day. Vincent O'Brien's successor in Ballydoyle bears the same name but is no relation other than in shared genius with racehorses. Aidan O'Brien has rewritten the records so often that any attempt to capture his achievements on the printed page would ensure the piece became outdated overnight. It would take an epic move to cover the famous wins of Irish flat and national hunt horses in the 20th and early 21st centuries. The story is still being written and new stars of the turf appear every year. The sport itself is changing rapidly, but one constant remains. The passion for racing among the Irish people and our natural affinity for the horse, 
as breeders, trainers, jockeys, grooms and in a myriad of other supporting roles. The Celtic warriors of the Fianna no longer race across the plains, but the Celtic Tigers progeny still come to match the best against the best, and while doing so, have plenty of fun. Irish racing festivals have become the major social and sporting occasions of Irish life in every season of the year. And maintaining a sporting tradition that spans the centuries, Irish jockeys, trainers and horses continue to win the world over.